Hello everyone, welcome to Elevate Eki and welcome to the another video of the playlist How to develop a real-time BDD framework from scratch using Selenium with Java. If you haven't done yet, please hit that subscribe button below so that you'll never miss any video of mine. Just to recap, in the previous video we have seen how to find the web element using locators and what are the different types of locators we have in Selenium. Let's try to use those locator techniques to implement the step user clicks on the chapter 1 link. So under that step what we want to do is click on this chapter 1 link in the application. We want to identify where this chapter 1 link actually is. And for doing so the first step we need to do is identify this chapter 1 link using the different locator techniques which we have seen. And for viewing the DOM properties of this element I will be right clicking and then select inspect. So you can see here the DOM got opened and we have a small arrow icon here and when you click on this icon and just scroll to any of the web element in the page you can see the web element is highlighted and when you click on it you can see the DOM properties of that element and here we want to identify the chapter 1 link. So let me click on this arrow and scroll to the chapter 1 link and you can see here chapter 1 is under the anchor tag and it has the href value which is chapter 1 and the text is chapter 1. And if we see what are the different locator techniques we can use, we can use the by link text or by partial link text or by x or by x path. So let me go to the code. Let's remove the spring statement. And for identifying the element in Selenium, we have a method called find elements for the driver. Let's call the find element method in the Selenium. So I'll be writing out the driver dot find element. So you can see here we have the method find element. And what it returns is the first matching web element of the current page. So even though there are duplicate matches we found for that particular web element, it gives us the first match of the web element found in that current page. So let me select the find element method. And here we have the parameter to pass is by. And when I click on dot, here you can see the different locator techniques which the Selenium supports. So it is by using the class name, by CSS selector, by ID, by link text and by name and by partial link text, by text, by tag name and by the X path. And for finding this web element, let's go with the link text. And the link text of this web element is chapter 1. Let me copy that and paste it here. By this code, we have identified successfully the chapter 1 link. Now, the next step we have to do is perform the action. So, under this step, what action we want to perform is click on this chapter 1 link. And in Selenium, we have the method called click, which clicks on the particular web element. So let me select the click method. And by this, we have successfully implemented the step user clicks on the chapter 1 link. So first, it identifies the chapter 1 link and then perform the action of click using the click method in Selenium. Now let's run the code and see if it is working fine. So for running the code, I will be going to the runner file and right click on it then select run as and test it. So the execution has started and it picked up the scenario. So the browser got opened and it navigated the application URL and here you can see it has clicked on this chapter 1 link. Let us go to Eclipse and see if the scenario got successful. The scenario ran successfully and everything is in green. And here also runner1 and password1. So this is how we locate a particular web element in Linium and perform any action on it. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you learned something new today. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel. See you in the next video.